The first time I went to Indonesia was in 2009 uh, with a group from Discovery Hills Church and I've been back there several times since then. Uh, don't know how many times now, it's been too many. <music> So, when I was young, I sailed in the San Francisco Bay with a friend of mine a lot. I loved sailing and started looking at maps and thinking about sailing to the South Pacific, which is kind of something you do when you think about sailing. And my eyes landed on this bunch of islands over on the east end of the South Pacific, which was Indonesia, and I'd never heard of it before. Uh, ever since then, I wanted to go to Indonesia. So I never really told anybody that, but all my life I wanted to go to Indonesia. And one day at the back of the church, Tom Otter uh, went on this first trip with us, uh, told me the missions committee was putting together a team to do a short term trip to Indonesia. And would I be interested in going to Indonesia? And I just was dumbfounded. I, I just sat there thinking, I can't believe somebody just asked me if I want to go to Indonesia. So, um, and looking back on that, I think it was the Holy Spirit preparing me to, to want to be involved in, in work in Indonesia. So. The main thing that we've done is try and provide an environment for Indonesian missionaries, Indonesian workers that are working in uh, spreading the gospel, trying to help uh, Muslims get to know Jesus. Uh, to support them in their in their work, they have a difficult time in, in living there sometimes. Uh, it, at least living as Christians because it's a Muslim country, and so we support them and encourage them and uh, help them keep doing what they're doing. The most difficult for, thing for me, I think, is, is I've become kind of a leader, I guess you would say, and, and leading other people over there, which requires organizational thought and skills, which I, <laughs> I never thought I had before. And um, so the, just the whole putting together a, a trip and organizing a bunch of people to end up in the same place at the same time and doing the same thing and preparing and to me, that's one of the most amazing things is I'm not really particularly gifted at organization, but God has enabled me to do that. And so I've seen him working uh, in me, make, giving me abilities to do things that, that I wasn't normally comfortable with or wouldn't normally take on on my own. <music> I was most surprised by the way that the Indonesian people received this. I was surprised by how much our presence meant to them. It's something that you can't really explain it, but there's a, there's a, the reception that we received from them and the encouragement that you can see that we provided for them by just being there and coming and, and showing our love for them and care for them. I was amazed how much our presence impacted the Indonesians. I've seen God working in changing people's lives, changing the way people think about what, what God is doing, changing um, me, how much I can depend on Him. It's been pretty amazing to me to watch how God works in other people's lives. Um, we, some of the groups I've taken, we've done preparation work before we go. Um, and I had some people kind of express the idea that, oh, this is a waste of time. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm already a Christian. I don't need to study this stuff to go. And then looking at how the material that we look at impacted them, how the trip impacted them as we were there. It's a sense of God moving in people's lives, of God changing people, changing the way they think, changing the way they look and see the world. Um, 
the way that God uses us to do his work in ways that we don't necessarily see it ahead of time. They've given me a lot more faith that God will do what he says he's going to do and that he's in charge. He's going to work things out for his glory. He's going to make things happen that uh, we don't anticipate. It's made me trust him a lot more, feel more of a personal relationship, that it's, that it's not just uh, an activity, but it's, it's working together. It's, <laughs> and it just always astounds me that God uses and chooses to work through us, even in our weaknesses, to do things that, that he wants done that we don't necessarily anticipate ahead of time. It's just a closer relationship. I mean, when you're when you're doing this kind of work, when you're doing God's work, as we say, um, you're working with God, working together, and so it becomes more of a personal, intimate relationship, more of a, a friendship. <music> Uh, well, I would encourage you to go. I would encourage anybody to go on this kind of a, a opportunity to see God at work. The first time I ever went in the mission field, I was 19 years old, and it gave me an opportunity to see people that had a a real working relationship with God that were that were doing His work on a daily basis, where that was that was what their life was about and it just it changed my perspective on what is christianity it's not just a a belief in something but it's something that you want to do something that you want to be being on a short-term trip gives you an opportunity to experience that in ways that you just really can't in normal everyday life <music> Come with us. We would like to take you, man. We would love you to come. So do you want the long version of this or should I give it? I can edit it so you can go as long as you want.